Okay, so say we have some spring here. This is the same spring. Uh, let's call this, you know, spring A or something. And this is also spring A. But what we've done is we've compressed it over here. So let's say maybe it has an undeformed length of one meter. And then what we want to do is we want to put some force on it. We'll call this force F. And then we're going to compress it uh, with that force to some uh, to some other length. That we'll say that now the length of the spring is say 0 0.6 meters. Okay, so we want to solve for how big of a force do we need to apply. Well, first of all, we need to know what the spring constant is. So we'll say that, we can write it here, we'll say that K is going to be equal to, let's say, 25 kilonewtons per meter. That's 25,000 newtons per meter. All right, so what we do is we go use Hooke's Law. We have F is equal to Kx. You might also see this written as F is equal to K delta X because uh, what we need to do is delta X is the change in length from the undeformed position. So in our case, we're, we can write over here, we'll say k is equal to 25 kilonewtons per meter, and x is going to be equal to, well, we have 1 meter minus 0 0.6 meters. We can even write that 1 minus 0 0.6. So this will equal, uh, let's write it down here, x is equal to 0 0.4 meters. Alright, so now all we need to do is just plug this in. So our force that we're going to apply to the spring is going to be equal to 25 kilonewtons per meter times 0 0.4 meters. Okay, so our meters cancel out. We get 25 times 0 0.4. So we have our force, <laughs> can't draw, our force is equal to 6.25 kilonewtons and that's pointing in that direction or if you prefer we can say or 6250 newtons we had to push in this direction this blue force to compress this spring with this spring constant by 0 0.4 meters